I think for the bystander ball, really fun look. If it's black time beach, I think lots of colours. Um, I'm going to use on Phoebe a magenta um, with a magenta lip liner. I think it's really nice to add a bit of colour. Um, I think glowy skin, if it's summery, keep it glowy, a bit of tan. Um, maybe a strong liquid line on the eye. Must you blow that bum, I'm going to start with lining her lips, which I think is really important to get a really clean cut lip. I think, I think if you're going to use a bright lipstick, you always have to line it, otherwise it's just going to look messy. No, you've got to stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Relax your lips. <laughs> I find on the bottom, actually, before lining it, it's much easier to just go in with colour. It's got itchy head. Do it, Another little tip, I always find sometimes when I use a bright lipstick you always worry about matching up blushes. But I actually sometimes use my lipstick as my blusher rather than going out and buying a whole new blusher. If you rub the lipstick on the back of your hand it will create basically just a cream blusher. Um, which obviously you don't really apply with a brush but if you use your fingers and dab down, you don't want it really bright. Don't dab like down dirty. a bit. No. <laughs> and then literally just dab it so you get like a natural stain and also I really like a glowy look so it actually adds to the glow because it has that sort of glossy sheen in it yeah, yeah. and then because it's all cream and your foundation's cream you can just blend if it's too bright I just going to put it into the hairline a bit to just like a sort of for Phoebe's eyes, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of really simple, like pearly, pearly, glowy eyeshadow, just like a sort of lightly over. But for the main bit of it, because I've done such a bright lip, like that will just be just sort of sheen just over the lid because the lip's so bright. I think it's either one or the other. You either do like a smoky sort of dark eye and keep your lips really neutral or you do a really bright lip and then either just put like you know a sheen over it or we're going to do an eye line which really suits Phoebe's eyes I know there's like a bit of a flick and that also sometimes ties in really nicely of a bright lip a lot of people struggle on the flip and that's where you've really got to you know take some time do do the main bit of your eye first and take a bit of time step back look in the mirror and think where do I want to flick this out rather than just sort of a lot of people just do it all in one and so Phoebe has a massive spot oh no how are we gonna cover it oh god <laughs> a lot of people what they do sort of wrong I find is when they're covering up a spot they wipe over it and because you're wiping over it with a lot of pressure it's just uncovering spot you're basically wiping on the product and off the product all in one go so what's really good is just to dab on the product and you can build it up and just dab over the spot and then obviously it's a bit thick around the edges so with your brush you can blend the edges around the spot but don't blend don't blend the product on the spot because that product you've dabbed on if I went and brushed over it with my brush it would just reveal my spot again so that's just taking off all the product I've put on so I would blend the corners and then obviously if you've got a bit of powder it's a really good idea just to powder lightly over your spot to make sure that product doesn't come off otherwise you know your spot's going to be revealed later if on we all know night. your dirty secrets especially if you're like dancing on the dance floor getting really hot and sweaty <laughs>